hi guys. Missed ya. Welcome back to the channel, guys. I am, this is like day three or four. I don't even know, I kind of lost track, but this is like day four or so in the Colorado area. And we are starting this video off in the mountains and I'll kind of overlay some stuff right now. We had a beautiful drive in, as you guys can see right there, just absolutely gorgeous. And we're at this uh, certain location where it's a national forest, I believe. And we're gonna do a little bit of hiking today uh, to a lake to do a little bit of fly fishing. And the scenery out here is just, I don't know, it's just iron. I can't get enough of Colorado. I mean, it's just absolutely gorgeous out here. And before this video goes any farther, guys, if you just pause the video, click the like button, it helps out the algorithm. And I don't know, it just validates everything that I do on this channel. So make sure to do that. We got the old van here. She made it down the beaten path somehow. I don't really know how, but Lindsay's getting all ready. And we got just beautiful, look at that. Looks awesome. In today's video, you can expect a little bit of camping, like van camping, a little bit of fly fishing, a little bit of hiking, a little bit of exploring, and you know, whatever comes with the adventure, you know, I'll just document it and show you guys. So right now, the first thing that we're gonna do is hike into this lake. No clue how far this lake is. Um, I'm here with Lindsay's family, and we're all gonna walk back there, bring the fly rods, kind of like a stealth mission, and see if we can catch some fish. Maybe if I catch a fish and I feel like up to it, I can clean it and cook it but the problem is guys it's very remote where we're going and i don't know if i'm gonna be able to clean it and then bring it back to the campground like while preserving it to cook it here so i don't know how that's gonna go but if the opportunity arises i might do it so i'm gonna get ready and strap on the gopro and begin this hike you guys just stay tuned let the adventure begin lock this last door and all right, I think we're good to go. Yay. You guys yeah, ready? I'm, Are you? Today, I'm always ready. All right, Lindsay, you ready to get after it? I'm ready. How long is the hike in? To... So we have 1.25 miles to hike. And uh, then we're gonna get to kind of like, I'm out of, why am I out of breath right now? I'm trying to like vlog right now, but like I'm like, uh, uh, wow, I'm really out of shape. But okay. we have a little bit of a hike in, as you can see right here, gorgeous. And we'll get to a lake, then we're gonna do some fly fishing. We all got some backpacks, some water, some snacks, and yeah, I'm looking forward to this and I'm already tired. Not a good sign. No! Hey! Oh, ow! Oh. Well, we came to the first cool spot on our hike. Looks like there's kind of like a, a little creek or something right here. All right, I'm going in the water, guys. Ooh, feels nice and cool. Oh gosh, yeah. This feels awesome. Look at this thing. This thing is so cool. I'm not gonna waste much longer because my feet are getting a little bit cool right now. So I'm just gonna walk across here. There we go. Ooh, that's an ice bath right there. Ooh. <laughs> well, we just crossed this. My legs are freezing. I'm ready to catch some fish though. Well, we finally made it over to the other side and I had to bring out the big camera just to show you guys the uh, the beauty of this area. I kind of want to do it justice, like not on the GoPro, on this camera. So we got Lake One right here with a little spilling way and uh, mountains, mountains, trees, trees, rocks, rocks, rocks the Bogby family and another lake over here Grant's over there giving a dang already he said he had a bite and yeah we got snow up there beautiful lake so what I think this lake kind of flows in over here we've already seen a bunch of fish on this lake and I set Lindsay up with a dry fly on the four weight and uh, we're gonna see if she can get it done over here. I, before I fish this side, I really wanna try right next to the spillway, just because I, I have a theory that a lot of insects and bugs and stuff are getting pushed in right here, and it's basically just a conveyor belt for these fish to sit next to and just like open their mouths and stuff just goes in. So I'm gonna try going over there, give it a dangle, and then I'll come over here. I am running a double, I don't know what it's called, like a double nymph rig or something like that. Basically it's a dry fly on top, and then underneath is a wet fly and it just sinks down. So I'm gonna do that, enough talking, let's get it going. Oh, that was scary. 
Oh, this looks like gas. I don't know if this snow is going to be able to hold me though. Okay. The snow is holding me. Cool, 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 cool. Got a nice gradual drop off right here. I don't know how safe this is, guys, so maybe don't try this at home, but Chaboy is giving it a go. I'm gonna get the rig out. So this is my new six weight. Uh, it's like an Echo or something, I don't really know. I just bought it at this local fly shop and I have a little wet fly right there. I'm not sure what they call that. And then I do know up here I have a dry fly and this is a nymph, I believe. So that's what we're gonna give it a dang with to go. I think if I get bit here, it's gonna be on the wet fly, the bottom one, but who knows. Ooh, that was a good one. All right, I'm in the current. I'm in the current. I feel like if there's a fish, I would have gotten a bite. All right, I'm gonna try the other side now. All right, we made it over to lake number two and I'm gonna have to do a little bit of wade fishing here. Whew, it's cold. This is very cold. I'm gonna have to stand on some rocks for sure if I'm gonna be doing some fishing over here. Okay, this lake has like a bunch of small ones, I feel like. And I think there's a lake right here. I can see it, I believe. So I'm just gonna sneak on over here. See if I can sneak a few fish for you guys. All right, I'm just gonna walk over here. Don't mind me. Oh, oh God, yeah. And just like that, we're on lake three right now. Let's see if I can see any fish that wants to be caught. Come and eat the fly, my guys. Oh, looks so good. I see fish swimming around up in here, but they're not much bigger than the last lake, and they seem kind of finicky. I mean, they're like only this big or so. I'm wondering if there's like a big mama around here, like a big aggressive one that's like, you know, 14 inches or so, because these ones are just way, really small, way too small. Got one. Nice. Oh, I was talking to Grant and I looked away for one second. Finally, the first fish of the day. What's in it? What is it? Looks like a little rainbow. Let's see if I can get him in my net. Yeet. Dude, I think this is a brook trout. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a brook trout. Let's see if you guys can see it right there. I think that's a brook trout. Yeah, that's 100% a brook trout. That is super cool. You guys can see that. You can see the like kind of like blue and then like a red dot in the middle of the blue. I think that makes it a brook trout. So we're gonna keep this guy in the net for a second here. Whew. Finally, I feel so good. We've been working so hard to get a fish and finally I got one to commit. And uh, I did not think I'd catch a little brookie to be honest. And this fish swam through my net. Wow, what a net. 
Always wet your hands before you touch. Them. All right, well, we've been fishing for a while. Haven't caught another one since that first that you guys saw. We're gonna either switch legs right now or go back to the van, I'm not really sure. So just bear with me, guys. My legs are absolutely freezing cold because I've been wade fishing and uh, this water is literally from an iceberg. Eventually. land we made it so Ow. Lindsay and I oh I'm so sorry <laughs> Lindsay and I we just got done uh, with the whole trout grinding mission and that was hard Lindsay was making unreal casts I was watching her she was making awesome casts no rewards though no, no rewards. rewards but I ended up catching one not really sure what it was I think it's a brook trout just drop a comment down below and let me know but we are in a small town now called Netherland and we're freaking starving and her brother suggested a place to eat. We are at the backcountry pizza joint. And I mean, this is a small little town of Netherland. Take it all in folks. And then yeah, this guy right here. Plan is right now, we're gonna get some grub, vlog that experience, and then maybe go fishing or maybe go find a campground. So you guys stay tuned. Looks pretty good, honestly. Oh god, yeah, they have lots of stuff. Oh gosh. Yeah. Pizzas, salads, appetizers. Lindsay and I heard that the pizza and the wings are really good here, right? We're gonna order up a little bit. This place is pretty cool. I kind of like the vibe. And we're sitting at our place right now and look out this way. Check this out. Mountains. Ooh. But I'm gonna order some food. I'm hungry. Oh god, baby. Oh yes, give it to me. Okay. Oh. <laughs> You're being so weird. Lindsay and I just got our chicken tenders and they look fire. We got chicken tenders and then we got like two personalized pizzas. These look like crazy chicken. Oh. Ow! <laughs> it's, it's so that, hot. It burns it's, my it's fingers. It's that hot, eh? It's burning my fingers, but I might go in for a bite anyway. This is hot barbecue which I love from meetups, but they discontinued it. And this is buffalo, so I'm gonna try the hot barbecue. Oh God, hopefully it's not super hot. I just put a crap ton on there. Ready? Yep. Oh, I heard the crunch. I heard the crunch. Is it good? I'm really good. Those look absolutely amazing. I'm about to dig in, but uh, we're still waiting on two pizzas, so I'm looking forward to those pizzas. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Well, the pizzas came, and they look like absolute gas. They're steaming hot. I'm going to take a bite for you guys because no. you guys know. Don't. Baby, you're dropping all your cheese. What are you doing? Oh, it looks so good. I gotta take a bite for you guys, though. This is what I do. One bite. Everybody knows the rules. I'll see you in a minute. Yeah. That guy's good? Yeah. Oh, that's fire. Did that burn your mouth? Yeah, my mouth is burnt. But freaking delicious. We are going to continue to merc this, and I'll catch up with you guys when we're done with that. I think it's sauceless. Oh. <laughs> Howdy. You got the goods? Got the late night bites. Well, we just got done eating some pizza. Man, that thing was delicious. It, they honestly give you so much food for the price and we have enough left over for like a late night meal tonight or like an early morning breakfast tomorrow morning. So, Lindsay just started the van. Okay, that's kind of cool. But we are gonna go, I don't know. We don't have any service, so. I don't know where the campground's at. I don't know where the reservoir's at where we can go fishing. So we're either gonna go fishing right now or go find the campground. You guys stay tuned. Who's this? Hey guys. Well guys, we just got done eating pizza and now we have finally made it to a campground. We checked a couple other ones, but this was the better one and I think we did a pretty good job. So we got the van right here and there's other people over there and stuff like that. We chose this spot because there's a bathroom 
right there. So Lindsay can use the bathroom super easy. And over here, we got a picnic table. We got a little bonfire area. And like, honestly, a really big area right here if we wanted to put some tents up, but obviously we're not doing that. And every campsite comes with a bear resistant food storage container. These things are super cool. So basically, well, am I strong enough or am I? Oh, here we go. Yep, yep, there you go. Look at that. You can put stuff in there so bears don't get it at night. There's mosquitoes. There's mosquitoes? Yeah. What do you, how do you feel about the spot right now? <sighs> I'm excited to go to sleep in the van. I haven't slept in the van in a long time. So I think right now, Lindsay and I are just kind of set things up and you're not gonna miss a lot. But once I finally close the van doors, I'll kind of run through everything and uh, then we'll, we'll go to bed. Wait, wait, I can make that even better. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Yeah! Oh God, yeah. Name a better life. Name a better life in oh, the van. Dude, you're living your best. Look at that. Pizza, beer, reading, van, And nature, my mans. And me. Crack it. Oh yeah. Cheers, ladies and gentlemen. Mm, 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 mm. Well, as you guys saw, Lindsay and I, we just kind of got situated in the van and kind of hung out a little bit. We put up the blinds, which are new. So this one stays up all the time. We put up this one, this one, this one, and this one, but this one's kind of broken. Having these curtains is a huge upgrade for us just because we have more privacy. People can't come in and check out what we're doing. I guess they could look in the front, but at least we're a little bit more protected back here. And I don't know, the vibes are good right now. We have that, we were running the fan for a little bit, getting it nice and cool in here, drinking a brewski, and we got the pizza. Which, speaking of pizza, I think I'm about to get a piece of this. Oh, oh, yeah, a piece of this. Ha 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 ha. Everything's running still good right here. I plugged in some GoPro batteries, and our fridge is under here. That's still ripping. And this pizza is about to get eaten. Oh, God, yeah. Better cold. This is way better cold. It's pretty crazy to think that Lindsay and I are in my van that I bought like a couple months ago in the mountains in Colorado with some pizza and some beer. And this is how I pictured it, man. When I bought it, this is what I wanted to do with it. And I'm glad we're doing it right now. So I'm just gonna probably chill here a little bit. Lindsay's gonna read, I'm gonna go to sleep and then wake up tomorrow morning and I'll catch up with you guys then. If something crazy happens, I'll bring out the camera, but no promises. It's illegal to do that in the van. The scent will just stay in here. Turn this fan on. How do I turn it on? Ah, I'm scared. Oh. Good morning, everyone. It's 5.30 the next morning, and I feel like poop. I have the biggest headache ever right now. I don't know why. Um, I maybe slept 20 minutes last night. I slept so bad. I was so tired last night, but for some odd reason, I did not sleep good at all. Lindsay, how did you sleep last night? Not good either. She didn't sleep good either. But, like, you were tired when you went to bed, though, right? Yeah, I'm really tired. 
I don't know, maybe we're just too used to our bougie king size bed or something. I, I have no clue, but as you can see, it looks pretty good out there. I mean, mountains back there and all of our neighbors and such, and yeah. Lindsay and I have to get going though because we have another adventure that we are gonna go film for you guys. So that is where we're going to end today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. We did a little bit of everything, honestly. We did a little bit of traveling, a little bit of vlogging, a little bit of fishing, a little bit of camping, and I don't know. I just feel like this video pieced together really well, and I want to know what you guys think about it. So drop a comment down below. Let me know. We got a couple more days left in Colorado, and I'm going to make the most out of it. So thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.